hip flexor mobilization. So I've set up a makeshift wall here trying to give you guys a lateral representation. And I'm, I'll face away from the camera so you can see the example on the wall. But just for illustration purposes, pretend there's a, you know, there's a wall that's going along the plane here of this box. How we're gonna get set up is in a half kneeling position. This is the scaled back version with the regressed version to where you're gonna squeeze the glute on the leg that's back. My hands are gonna be on the wall and I'm bringing this knee to the wall and I'm getting ankle dorsiflexion range of motion on the front leg, hip extension on the back leg, and hip flexor length on the back leg as well. To progress that, you go into a position of you're gonna hold your lower leg. And when you do this, you're elongating the rectus femoris muscle or one of the quad muscles across your hip joint. And you're doing your best to keep your hips square to the wall and to not side bend toward that leg. Same exact setup, I'm squeezing my right butt cheek, my left hand is on the wall, and I'm leaning into that wall to hit the same points of emphasis and then coming back out. So, a rear facing view, hips square, don't rotate, everything's parallel to the wall, 